They say it was a no-brainer. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife continue to look into where a mountain lion killed in Bourbon County back in December came from. And we found out the giant cat may have been a pet. Miranda Combs investigates why officials shot and killed the mountain lion. Divot is a Rhodesian Ridgeback. His job is to protect his owner's property from coyotes. Hey, hey, don't knock over the camera. Animals that might hurt the many terriers she keeps. Could have been done just on brush, but that's the day it happened. Divot carries a couple of badges of courage these days. And I don't know if it was the lion that did it or if, if he just ripped it. These cuts happened the day Divot found a mountain lion on Aurora Rubel's land. He darts into this brush pile and chases something up a tree, which I thought was probably a squirrel or a raccoon. Only I was on the back side of the tree. These great big paws come around about 30 feet off the ground. I go around to the other side of the tree, and it was this mountain lion. She didn't know much about mountain lions, but knew no one would believe what she was seeing. So she snapped some pictures, went back to the house, and set in motion Kentucky Fish and Wildlife's investigation. This officer showed up armed. He came prepared only to shoot it. They hopped back on the four-wheeler and took Divot to the tree. The mountain lion was gone, but Divot found it again. This picture spread quickly on social media, but after this, not much was shared with the public. We knew the mountain lion was taken for a necropsy to find out if it was wild or a pet and where it was from. That was more than three months ago. We filed an open records request for documents relating to the mountain lion. Most of the documents were denied because Fish and Wildlife say this is an open investigation. However, we did get emails. I have seen photos tonight and immediately its fat physique leads to think that it is certainly an escaped animal. I have verbal confirmation that the teeth have an abundance of plaque and its paws are quite dull. All supporting that it was a pet in a previous life. That email from a program coordinator for Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. There were multiple emails supporting the department's decision to kill the mountain lion because the closest tranquilizer gun was two hours away. The commissioner writes this the day after. Not to be short, but it is a no-brainer. We wait for the dark gun. It is almost dark. Cat jumps out of the tree in a neighborhood with kids. Cat hurts a child or disappears into the night and we can't find him. Then think about what the press and everyone would have said if a child got hurt because we didn't shoot it when we had the chance. They would have really made the department look stupid and irresponsible. I go with shooting the cat every time. And the program manager comments three days later, there was no no way that we could get immobilizing agents to the location in less than 1.5 to 2 hours. Thanks, of course, to DEA restrictions and our now limited staff that are licensed to maintain possession of drugs. He's going to be free in May. Aurora Rubel has had time to think about that cold day in December and research the cat her dog found. Generally, they avoid people and, and they're not really dangerous to people. And an email from Cougar Rewilding Foundation to Kentucky said, no one has ever been attacked by a treed cougar. No one has been attacked in 25 years of cougar dispersal into the Midwest. No one has been attacked by a cougar east of the Rockies in 165 years. Had I known more about mountain lions, I probably would have not told anybody <laughs> that uh, it was on my property. And Kentucky Fish and Wildlife are not commenting on the investigation at this time. However, they did call me today to say the officer did not show up at Rubel's home to kill the animal. The officer went out to investigate and after assessing all the facts, made the decision to shoot the animal, guys. Hmm. In your story, you say that the nearest tranquilizer gun was about two hours away. Is it right. typical not to have one closer than that? Apparently, it's normal to have them far away. I talked hmm. to the Missouri Fish and Wildlife just to get to some perspective on this sure. and they said yeah you know it has to be licensed through the DEA and not everyone carries these guns mm -hmm. so it's not uncommon apparently interesting update Miranda thank mm -hmm. you thank you Miranda